unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday. And it is today and forever. Land of the rising sun, we love and cherish. Be love at home, land of our brave heroes. We defend our lives, so oh, we shall perish. We shall protect our hearts from all our foes. But if the prize is that far, oh, we hold it. Yeah. to be a consecrated nation oh fatherland this be our solemn pledge defending we shall be a dedication spilling our blood we count a privilege the wave is thundered which emboldens the free shall always be a flag of liberty we shall emerge triumphant from this ordeal and through the crucible on schedule pass when we are poised the wounds of battle to heal we shall who died in mass then shall our trumpets build the glorious sun our victory we scarred our minds around oh god protect us from the hidden pitfall guide all our movement lest we go astray
again we are back on the studio i will say good morning good afternoon good evening and to some of you good night depending on your time zone this is still radio biafra extra and we are streaming live through biafra human right and freedom radio a platform that is the embodiment of discipline justice fairness equity and of course we cannot overrule the single fact that this very platform is out there to defend the Biafran human right. It is the embodiment of Pro Biafran Group, and of course, is being anchored by our brother Diopa Uchi Ukafomefo, who hails from Abatete in Anambra State, Biafra Land. The man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. I am George Unibi, and I hail from Abo and Yoma Province to be precise. And it is a privilege to reach out to you, people of Biafra, once again. As customary demand on this very platform, I must acknowledge members of the de facto customary government, men and women who has taken the lead to understand the implication or the need to institutionalize the Biafra Restoration Project. They all have different ideology that drives them in their different groups and i can honestly tell you that i don't believe in all of them but then considering the fact that whether i believe or i don't believe they mean one thing for our people they want a better life for our people you're fighting for the oppressed they are fighting for our people some believe in the devolution of power, constitutional amendment, some see constitutional review, others glamour for restructure, and then regional autonomy. We talk about secession, give us Biafra, and so on. But all this cry, all this demand is for one reason. We have been poorly treated in the Nigerian state. We really cannot have the time this evening to analyze how it all began. But somewhere along the line, somebody has to stand up and say, enough to this injustice, enough to emasculation, enough to subjugation, enough to intellectual dishonest individuals making full of force, feeding on our mis mis misery, enough for those who sit God nowhere and control our very affair. And they tell you openly that they will never allow you to be in control of your destiny. And why would anybody in their right senses, most especially Biafrans, not stand up and support a group like that? And so I acknowledge all of you, ranging from the parliament down to the implementation the department, of course the executive. The de facto customary government of Biafra is being headed by Alaja Sare Dokobo and deputized by our sister Rita Aneboko. We have noble men and women out there, named two numerals to mention. How can I forget our veteran? How can I forget our daddy in the Lord? How exactly can I proceed without remembering Dr. Okado? Can I actually move on without acknowledging all of you, noble men and women, our brother Joe Maria, Egono, Evangelist Burning Fire? How many will I start tonight? Biafrans, thank you. And then I acknowledge members of the Biafra Nation Alliance. You are uniquely positioned because only very few people know the truth. And among the few that know the truth, only very few are ready to stand with the truth. You know the idea, that mental, mental, mentality, if you can't beat them, you join them. But you, wonderful people, ranging from the administrator, to the media department, the board of trustees, all of you among the few who knew the truth, you remain the few exceptional individual who decide to stand for the truth. Against all odds, acknowledge all of you this evening. And of course, I give God the glory. Because in the end, we are, we are, we are gone as a people if he has not allowed his mercy to take the place of our judgment. Imegi chineke Kanye mwato kwa su lilanya Imegi chineke o Kanye mwato kwa su lilanya nyu O nyi mwanyi Ababago mo logye Ikwe la ki yere mim 
ekwela kandu wa joanyi kilibi kachanyi nubu au okwa gibu echeto ubyesiki u okwa gibu ikanyi jagagale u okwa gike waru simili u ime kwa mwanya gakoturu ime u okwa giyo chine kim ibu oke emili ni ibu ogwi Okwa gi yo uchi neke ma Nibuchi Nibuchi me Ibuchi me Nibuchi Ibuchi anyanyi janhu zo Agada bajiri zongu kubi oma u Uli la nyang kindi biafra u Anyi nele roko na nye abaroko Okene kage jituru giye gena Agana kuisi ala nenye gie kile Nebu chimu He said He said Not everybody will understand But of course we are patient enough And we will wait until everybody Understand the position Where we are And of course without wasting much of our time We will move on to our topic this evening Which is simply titled Remember 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 The guiding initiative to the Biafra restoration. When the word remember is used, there is a thought that comes to the mind of almost everybody. But tonight, I want to help us, the people of Biafra, to understand that that very word remember, it conveying a more in-depth wisdom and knowledge that lead to breakthrough in every area of our life when you use that word remember 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 it's not as the name suggests it's not just physical notification the word rem remembrance remember it's not just about the physical notification it's not just notifying you to be that maybe you are forgotful and at the same time it's about minding or reminding you about unity with a process with a system and with a formation remember it's minding that is something that has to deal with a process it has to do with a system. It has to do with a formation. So much for us to consider this evening. But I can only pray that God will help me to drive this message home in such a way that every Biafran will understand what we are out to make you understand tonight. Remember. Just take the word first of all. Rem remember. Remember. Take that word first of all. Re, remove the re, and then member. You see, when you separate both of them, they begin to sound differently. When you separate both of them, they begin to sound differently. Remove the ROE, re, just remove the ROE, remove the ROE, and then. Leave the member. What is he trying to? What is he driving to? Like I said, there are a lot to these issues that you may not be able to understand at once. But hopefully tonight we will help you to understand them. Because if we fail to do the needful, if we fail to look at this issue and have in-depth knowledge on what is to be remembered, we're going to be losing our ground more than we can imagine i will draw a sample or create a scenario from the experience of michael jackson and then maybe from there we will be able to understand what we are trying to talk about and now going back to michael jackson michael jackson the late legend was a musician an African America. His style of music is unique. 
and they are second to none. A very black man as black as me. He grew up in, a, in an environment where racism is held in high esteem. He was talented, a gift from above, I should say. But then, Marcus Jackson had a limit to the level of success he can attend to. And so gradually, in order to be accepted by the Caucasians or the European, as the case may be, he started bleaching. He spent fortune to tone his skin. And when you see the image, the picture of Michael Jackson, you will never know he was a war, a black skin of an African man. Now, these are issues people do not talk about because they fail to remember. They feel it's nothing. It is just the same way. A lot of things plague us as a people. A lot of things ache us as a people. A lot of things are targeted to destroy us. We know this truth by ourselves. But the problem is we cannot resist this system. Because we cannot remember. And so Mark Jackson gradually undergo plastic surgery. He wants his nose to be pointed like the nose of the Caucasians or the European. The white-skinned people. And then he moved on to change his skin to look white so he could be accepted by the whites. Yes, they accepted him. He was recognized all over the world. He was loved. He was a hero. And of course, his music is second to none. Michael Jackson, I do not think aside Bob Marley personally. The next musician I have regard for is Michael Jackson. This is not because they sing song, but they put their soul into that song. But let's not go that side this night. Along the line, towards the end of his life, or at a particular stage in life, Michael Jackson remembered. He remembered that first of all, I am not a white man. He remembered that I must stand to protect my identity. He remembered they had been living in a fool's paradise all his life. He remembered he has made so many mistakes. He remembered who he used to be. I need you to focus on member. Put the ray on one side. Hope or just focus on that. Remember, maybe you will get what, what we, are, uh, we want you to understand as a Biafra. He remembered. And then what did he do? He went to the studio. He wrote an album. One of the track in that album is titled, Do You Remember? Do You Remember? I need you to understand it and so if i leave you with a single information as a biafran this evening let it guide you debate begin to come from his sponsor from his colleagues from his advisors most of which are white he began to have opposition why it's just a uh, one track he titled it do you remember They placed pressure on Michael Jackson not to release that album. But he went ahead and do it anyway. And when he's done with the releasing of that album, Michael Jackson died. As his lawyer, as his doctor, as the world, how did Michael Jackson die? Maybe they tell you he takes drug. When he sang Heal the World, he didn't take the drug. When he sang all his music, he didn't take the drug. And then for the first time, he remembered in his life. He died. The doctor was not careless. Maybe he took excess drug. Maybe he didn't have sense again. Why am I talking about it tonight? Most of us are forgotful. And we do not understand the true meaning of remember. When you do, it will change everything surrounding you. I'm not telling you, oh, do not forget we said something like this. I say remove the ray and hold on to the member. You will get the point. 
and then sample all my Kejasi music. He talked about Egypt. He talked about Tep Moses. He talked about the Kamai, the Kemat. He talked about Cleopatra. He talked about the ancient Egypt. And he keeps telling the people of Africa, do you remember the time? Do you remember the time? Do you remember the time? Maybe he would have turned to a black man before his death if he had the opportunity to live longer. Maybe his music would have been waved to that of redemption song like Bob Marley. But it was too late. And they saw he has remembered. He has woken from the matrix and now he lived in a reality world. He must be stopped. Why? let's digress a little bit because we have found ourselves in a position where most of us have decided to spend the rest of our life in the matrix living an audio reality life my brother we need to face the reality you must remember i'm just trying to point out one angle of what it means to remember to be a member to unite with the member to come into the member It comes in different language, but it is coded and remember. And Jesus said, Moses said, all the prophets said, as far as you remember all these things I have said, never to forget but to do them, you shall reap a reward. Go and look at your Bible. Jesus finished his ministry. He said, remember, be a member, be a member. Moses finished. He told them, be a member. Everybody keep telling them, be a member. In the guise of remember. And we are asking you, be a member of Biafra so we can recover. You cannot understand. We are not forgotten for God's sake. There is something that is causing obstruction here. Not until you become a member of realistic Biafra. My brother, career freedom fighter, have a feast day. But I tell you, that is where the problem is. But Mali is a British citizen. He's a Briton. His father is from Britain. His mother is from Jamaica. He's a black man by the color of the skin. But inside of him, he's a white man. Of course, you know how he will, the mother took in. And then, for the sake of same racism, the father will not accept him. And so the black mother tried and then raised him up. He saw poverty of the highest order in his town. He's a very wealthy man. He spent most of his money feeding the poor. It is said that nobody will know when Bob Mali is at home or when he is on tour. Because he made sure they feed every poor in his community in his time. He sponsored football. He made life easier for the black people. He saw their misery. And that is when he was dying at a very tender age. He said to his son, if money could buy life, I would not die. He died in his private jet traveling the world seeking for healing but how did he die they're going to tell you his cancer they're going to tell you is this he died because he remembered that we are the one that will emancipate ourselves from mental slavery he remembered that is the darkness that must amongst the light he remembered what are you remembering today what are you re and what are you remembering today oh ye people of biafra the stage we are we've done a lot of damage to ourselves without knowledge i think of your no wife is slapping ojuku wife does she remember does she remember she does not i think our punk are littering everywhere on social media trying to have a few day by insulting their own brother and not criminalizing the next generation of Igbo people do they remember do they remember what ends us, what equips us, our power, that they are not carnal? Do they remember? They don't. You see, the day we remember, that is the day the true struggle starts. Do they remember? 
Did they remember that when you are doing unknown government, killing your people, that you actually killing yourself? Do they remember? Go and ask Bob Marley. Go and ask Michael Jackson. Let me stop with these two people who are waking in the end of the day. This is Biafra Restoration Project for God's sake. We remembered. We were not there. We remembered. And so we got involved. Each time you say, I'm a member of this group, I'm a member of this group, it is something that brought you into that processes. You remembered. When we talk about this member, it is that moment to reunite. Reuniting with a process. It implies re reuniting with a system. Reuniting with a formation. In other words, you must remember the process. What does it mean to reunite with the process? You must begin to deal with the issue that brought you here. If my brother, make we remember what he bring us here. Let's go there. First of all, when we talk about remember, it is actually telling you to remember the process. Of course, this is the dealing that brought us here. Number two, remember the system, which imply the process of identifying what led us here. Number three, remember the formation, which is to remain focused on that principal solution to the eminent problem we face as a people. Were you able to remember these three factors? My brother, no matter what you are doing, there may be people who are out there to stop you by every means necessary. But you will break through. There is nothing that gladdened my heart. Having sampled the record of successful and genuine human being who has lived and who are still alive, I see what actually drives them, motivates them, push them to an end where they are empowered and empowered alone for the good of all is because they remembered. Considering this factor, do you remember what brought us here? Do you remember? Our people was almost beaten to stupor. Complete submission as a people. I'm not here because I'm jobless. I'm not here because I need fame. I'm not here because I want you to love me. I'm not here because maybe something when Biafra come, I shall be in. No, 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 no. Anybody fighting for Biafra at this moment? You should pray that if Paradventure Biafra come today, tell God, help us to guide the next generation to do the needful. If Biafra will come today, we will search around the world. Look for all these, our little, little children with exceptional IQ, better brain. Set their feet upon the path of leadership. At least 40 years, then don't resign. 40 years, nobody should be in politics. What are you doing in National Assembly? What do you know? What do you know? Those of you in National Assembly, those of you, who is writing your speech? You people don't even know Nandekano didn't go to school. Rubbish. And all these people ruling us today, turning our life. Most of you don't remember they were president at the age of 27. The oldest among them should be 32 years. Can you remember those things? How can you, how will you understand? How can you see the injustice we are talking about? What brought us here? Our people was dragged down. And now as a younger child, as a young person, I don't listen to Nigerian news. Then, I don't read Nigerian newspaper. I don't get information about them. Why? Because they lie. And you see, when our brother Nanda Kano started, he pointed out to us, you cannot depend on Yoruba Guta media. They lie. Because every time I open the page of newspaper, each time I listen to the, to the news or watch the television, my father don't play with the uh, news. And each time he's watching the news network uh, service, NTA, I will sit by him and be watching him. I really don't know what he's doing. But what I observe as a child is that the moment they open the TV, 
we look like arab people i'm not arab i'm not a muslim and i do not condemn you for god's sake but i am not that so you be your muslim you be your arab and allow me to be my ogomo or my christian for god's sake and now we have an image dominating all of us we are islam it's wrong i can tell you that and so your identity is stolen you can't even remember go and look at all our governors now all our brothers coming out to be governor Igbo governor and niger delta governor go and watch all of them they have to wear abada are you not ashamed to you it doesn't matter because you can't remember i wish that all the president all the people co co contesting for federal offices within the north and the west will in their own region begin to wear isiago or aquacha aquete and then i will think we are biased in what we are doing but i'm not against them imagine tinubu want to convince yoruba to vote for him as the next president of nigeria and then tinubu will wear isiago to convince yoruba my brother can't you remember and then maybe you call while we come out we are bada you because you don't remember who you are you don't what brought us here Outside that, having stolen our image, you begin to hear uh, Chukumo Kenko stole foul. Yes, in the National Assembly, one Tamuno Ebebilia killed somebody. And then uh, one Edikoenko uh, of uh, Akwaibom, he was caught with the drug. You know, the first woman to be executed for drug trafficking is a Biafran from Akwaibom or Calabar. It is one of the president's wife that was using her to push drug. She was even a cripple. She was hanged by Nigeria. But Hush Poppy, what are they going to do to him? Abakeyare, what are they going to do to him? They are slumming in the court of law. We know this were evil. We remember. And so the media was there blackmailing everybody. They did their job very well. And so we remembered these things must stop that is what brought us here they were killing our people it must stop i've been arrested many times for so many reasons and i can tell you i have not committed any crime one of my first experience in the police custody my first time i traveled to lagos from Marbor to lagos i have emergency I should be at the age of 16 or 17. And I love night bus, traveling at night. I joined this night bus belonging to GUO. Aporoka, they call it. Because I didn't have enough money to pay for executive. We were very few passengers in that luxurious bus, but with so much load. We got so around somewhere they call J4. Within our shoe state, the police stopped us. They started searching the motor, the vehicle. And at the end of the day, they diverted us into a forest known as J4. There was one completed building there. They pushed us inside the way. All of us there were Igbo. They start asking us one after the other. Who owns that money? Who is with the money? So you people are money laundering. You people are doing this. We don't know what happened. If somebody hold money, is that why they should not take us to police station? They drive us inside the bush? I was 17 maximum then. They did what they did throughout the night. In the morning, we noticed that inside that room, there was a pit there. A well. Check almost every police checking point within Biafra land. You see what they are building there. Have you been there as a civilian to see what is going on? Are Nigerian military supposed to portray us know what they are doing there? But you don't remember. That is why most of you are doing unknown government. Terrorizing us. Living the very problem that brought us here. And do you know what happened? They pushed us into the well. There was no telephone in Nigeria then. Only landline. Of course, we have landline. My parents have landline. 054 was our 
uh, Etel, I mean, uh, Nitel line. But I couldn't call them because I need another landline. Nobody could communicate. So we were left between God and the devil. They looked at us. They kept us there. The day, 24 hour was gone. They kept us there. But I noticed they were moving us one after the other. When they come this next morning, they say, yes, who is such a person? Come out. They will come out. They will not bring them back again. That is how our number began to reduce. And so four days later, early in the morning, the police were quarreling among themselves. Now, my point is, my parents did not know I was leaving Lagos that night, going home. And my brother, who I went to visit, cannot communicate to my parents until I get home. And so my parents did not bother to ask him because they thought I was still in Lagos. And so if I have died, it is gone. It's I want Nigeria. Because most of us have forgotten what brought us here. And now we become the instrument of our undoing. And so the police started having misunderstanding. They were quarreling and yelling at each other. And then the other team left in anger. That night, the next morning, massive policemen rounded up that building. They brought us out and picked us to a nearby police station. I know that police station. Because after many years, on my way coming back from Lagos, I stopped at that junction. I now took a vehicle looking at the very left side to find out that police station. It's still dirty today. They now arrested us and took us to that police station. They now lock us up there. The bone of contention was that somebody in that bus, one Igbo man, was carrying hard currency, very huge amount of money. It's a genuine money. They cannot rob him. So they want to kill all of us. Nobody gives testimony about that man. Indiscriminate killing of our people. And that is the reason why they have to begin to delete everybody. And from the police station, it is now kill and divide. That thing started. I have in my spirit that something is wrong. Who will help me? And I kept quiet. One morning, I told the police, this is almost a week later. Sir, I want to go to the toilet. At the age of 17, I'm telling you. They brought hand up and hand up me hand and leg. And so, in my dialect, I said, 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 no, I just said, I'm, it's just to go to the toilet now. You have to hang up me hand and leg. The man said, say, say, yes. Say, kuluku, kuluku. Don't say anything. And while I was in the toilet, he told me. He said, none of you are going. This is what happened. Do you know me? I said, no. He described himself. And I know behind my father's house, there is a story building there. Since I know that house, I've never seen the owner of the house. They come once in a while and they go. But our people used to rumor that the owner of the house is a policeman. That he and the family are not at home for a very long time. And so the man said, do you know so 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 building? I said, yes, my building is four buildings away from it. This is your neighbor. This is the man said, God bless you. Do you know my daughter? I told her the daughter name. But we don't know the man because he's not at home. The man said, this is what I will do. I'm going to radio headquarters, inform other people about what is going on. If not, you are not going. Why I'm bringing this is about indiscriminate killing. How many of our people are still dying in that manner? We are hiding them and we are telling ourselves, you are a sabo, you are evil. Idiot are coming to tell me, hey, hey pastor, you should just live in the canoe and focus on the... Are you an idiot? You should have told me if you are a pastor, forget about devil and then focus on the Holy Spirit because you don't have sense. Now, who is, a, a pro, who is in charge of the indiscriminate killing of our people? My brother, remember. Remember, first of all, what brought us here? To castigate one another, right? To do fundraising. Am I correct? 
to deceive you and turn your children to Yahoo Yahoo and arm robber. Why they hide their children in abroad and live in affluence? And you say, let's forget about brother. I don't forget no shit because I remember. Very unfortunate. The next morning, massive police van came to that station. They had one or two discussion. An order was given that all of us be released immediately. Immediately. The man is in charge of the police station cell. He came to me and said, they are asking to release all of you. If they release you this night, as about around 4 a.m. in the morning, he said, don't go. Tell them you don't know anywhere. That you have to stay in the station till daybreak. Because some group have laid ambush. They will kill all of you. So this matter don't live here. I told all the Igbo people there, this is what my brother said though. And just like he said, few minutes he left, they came to release us. I said, we can start going. I told them, I don't know anywhere. I don't even know where I am. I will wait till daybreak. The other side, I'm like, get out of here. I'm not going. Just believe, believe this place. Go outside and sit down. I said, thank you, sir. We sat outside. It was Friday. It was Saturday morning. And that morning was sanitation. It was very complicated one. So that sanitation, nobody will be outside. So even though we want to leave, you're still in the same danger. And along the line when sanitation started, they said we must leave there. We have become threat to the police uh, environment. I told those people we cannot stop. If they have to shoot us, let it be so. We started running. When we got to the highway, where the crime was supposed to take place, we saw a few vehicles coming from Lagos. And of course, my people are into transportation, majority of them. And once I saw a transport company belonging to one album man, I stood on the front, wait very closely till the man got close to me. And then they won't stop because they will think we are robbers. And I jump out and say, When I do do yen in my cow, and then it's on where when you do do yen in my cow, I won your ball and won your ball. They now slow down and say, Enter, enter, enter. That is how we start climbing lorry. All of us were saved. When we got to Rumi Junction, they dropped us. Those people know my father. I told them what happened to me. How many beer friends has died like that? And what are we doing to checkmate them? Do you know that any police station in Nigeria that you can't see any hours are full and locked up there? If you even arrest them, why you are still there? Phone call will come from above and they will release them. Is that the reason why we are one Nigeria? And now maybe you begin to remember why we are here. Let's stop there because of our time. We talk about the system. Identify what led us here. You must you, you now remember why you are here. Identify those challenges. Identify the solution. Do you still remember? Do you still remember? Ancient warriors. Ranging from the Kumeku warriors. Down to the Zulu's warrior. Among all that warriors that exist in Africa. They never asked for ornament or, 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 or anything to be built in their remembrance. They only tell their people remember. Remember why we fought. Remember why we bled. Remember why we die. If we must die. Have you seen anybody writing any rubbish about Shaka the Zulu? It was a brutal moment of his life. The people remember why he did what he did. Why he stood his ground to the end. And a little wonder the people of South Africa are always standing out every time. Not that if they are very powerful, they remember the need to continue fighting until complete emancipation becomes what they want. You must remember the formation which brought them to that very, to their kneel in fact. You cannot forget it. There are patterns they used to destroy us. And you don't have a pattern. Our politicians, I tell you, cannot speak up today because all of them have been indicted. It's not only Biafra politicians. And so each time we sit back, our politicians are evil, our policies, all of them have been indicted. But you don't remember. 
the process they use to set us up. That is why most of us did go on the same path to set all of us up. Let's look at it a little bit. One of my brothers was employed as an accountant for SPDC. And he's a Christian, a very fine one. I must give it to him. And so stealing is not part of it. Those in procurement, they make too much money. He told me that Oyibo can thief. The amazing thing there is that the more you trace their money laundry, it disappears. He knows everything happening. As Auditor General that covers the whole state in the south, south, you should understand what I mean. And so many people cannot do 419 with SPDC money. And so they decide to set him up because he became an obstacle on their way. They were doing something like bazaar. They always do it on share where they have to sell off all their old vehicles and buy new ones. He was in charge of receiving the fund. They pay a huge amount of money for gate fee. And then some people printed the original receipt and then others printed fake uh, receipt and then they were selling both of them at the same time. Share police still discovered there was fraud going on. And they went to arrest my brother. Because he was to be in charge of those receipts. How was it duplicated without his knowledge? And some of them were even found in his office. They came to arrest him. As they opened his drawer, they saw fake receipt. They saw his Bible. They didn't know he was a pastor. They handcuffed him out of the office. And he gave them the details of every money he has collected. The receipt that was with him. The woman police that was in charge of the matter was kind to him. Because according to the woman, when he saw the Bible in that drawer, he believed this man is not part of this. They investigated and they found out he was innocent. And now all this happened because they want to indict my brother. And so when they are stealing money, he cannot raise his voice. When he knew what was going on, because they have previously given him 6 million to change wardrobe, 20 million to change car, and then another 30 million to change his uh, uh, accommodation. And he told me, I said, brother, this thing is indictment. Forget about the group that are giving you. If you take them, watch that group. They are the one you have financial dealing with. If you take that money, you have been indicted. The power that be, the very formation that brought our problem, they tell your governors, eh, are you not the governor? We gave you the money. You know how to do it. Kill and divide. Sue your governor for accountability. Nigerian state will make sure that matter will not drop any water. Because it is not men for justice. It is meant to indict them. So that is why. Let any governor come up now. They have the right to debate the issue of Biafra in the floor of the Nigerian Senate. They cannot do it. Because if you push it harder, more than expected by the Nigerian Kabas, you will be indicted. The next thing you will hear is, this governor have indicted, EFCC will come for you, ICPC will come for you, and the LEA will come for you, every police government bulldog will come for you. And you know what? In the end, we are the one that will begin to call you thief. How do you call you say thief? You can have they have arrested people, they are thief, they are criminal. We will have to crucify them in the first place because we remember who we are. We don't thoroughly do things before. But you don't remember, that is why today, as we speak, our own very self because we cannot remember all of you most of you cannot remember and those who remember take advantage to undermine our position to rubbish us like the nigerian state do you think that will be possible it will not happen you don't remember that is why now the kind of will concord you will now look at oh Johnny B stole money. Uche Mefo stole money. Dr. Uche Mwokenko stole money. Uh, Zurumba stole money. Everybody stole money. Rafael Wazrike stole money. Asari Dokubo stole money. Uche uh, Mekaiwanya stole money. Uche Nasegu stole money. All of us you call Sabo to today for God's sake, brothers. 
You judge us by matter you know nothing about. He just told you we are sabotoir. He you jump up and oh they are sabotoir, they are evil, they are, we have given more than in on the canoe for God's sake. But he does not remember. The same weapon Nigeria is using to kill us, you are now using it to kill us. Do you remember? You are now the one kidnapping the kings, kidnapping everybody, killing everybody because you are looking. So today now, who is they are killing us? Let us tell United Nations. United Nation, they are killing us. So unknown government is killing us. So unknown government, United Nation, they are killing us. So unknown government, be shouting. But you, you don't remember the ability to bring every subject matter before you for a proper review and recognize, recognizing oneself become the ultimate solution that will eventually lead all of us to the liberation of Biafra. Let's not allow anyone to deceive us. Say, remember, join, be a member of those who represent justice, fairness, equity for the Biafran nation. Be a member of those who are sincerely fighting to liberate Biafra. Are you a member of those who are protecting our progenity? Are you among those members of people protecting our interests? Are you a member of those people who will do stop at nothing until they ensure our people are safe? Are you a member of those who are looking for how to hunt all of us down? Brad Chimezia took his children to abroad with our money and told you on the radio that I want to kill his children. And then he's giving your own children to come and do gunmen on the Facebook. Are you a member of those criminal gang? Are you a member of those who will want to sell us out? What member do you belong to? Now go back and ask yourself question. What do you remember? Ask yourself simple question. What do you remember? We must remember all of them. We will remember how what we have gone through. We will remember how we have got here. We will remember the generation of 1967 and 1970. We will remember you today. Whatever you have done, we will remember you. We will remember those who have placed us here. We will remember those who are fighting to liberate us here. We will remember all of you. And so, which member do you belong to? We are asking you, be a member of so -so, so group. Be a member of so, -so group. Understand that the member of the group you are, determine the kind of issues or matter you remember. So, are you a member? What member are you? If you mean well for our people, and you remember this very simple factor, the process, the system, and the formation, you should look for a pro Biafran group and join. Look for a pro Biafran group and join. There are different ideologies out there. They all have different ideology, I must tell you. But all of us are heading towards the same direction. When we get there, we scrutinize everything we have done so far. And then the people decide what they really want. What member are you? Are you a member of those who understand constitutional review amendment or pulling down the 1999 constitution? If you are a member, then you remember. Are you among those groups who are fighting for justice, fairness, and equity, protecting the Biafran human rights? If you are a member, we know that you remember. If you are a member of the de facto customary government, and then we understand that you remember the need for order, the need for organizing ourselves. Which member are you? Media warrior, Irat. My brother, you must be a member. A member of the, the liberation team. You must be a member. United with our ancestors. You must be a member. We don't remember many things. That is why we glorify stupidity. We glorify criminality. We glorify hopelessness. We glorify shamelessness. Let's remember ourselves. It will cause us pain. It will take us a very long time. And so if we die for the sake of remembering, like Michael Jackson and like Bob Marley, and then I tell you, we will gladly lay down our life if that is what it takes. Biafra Restoration Project remains the ultimate pursuit for the people of Biafra. It does not matter any turn, any road we more have to follow in the end. But I tell you, we will bring this restoration project to a conclusive end. At this moment, our lines are open. 
And if you are able to call in to make your contribution, you call in, please. The lines are open. But of course, if you cannot access my studio line, you are free to call in through other my personal media platform. It could be on Facebook, it could be on the WhatsApp or any other. The direct studio line is uh, 081 221 52971 081 221 52971 and then our WhatsApp line is 070 815 and make your contribution and of course do not forget we are on, on FM we are on Zeno we are on simple radio we are on facebook we are on twitter we are on whatsapp group we are on satellite you can visit our website if you're looking for how to be a member in order to remember whether a member of the de facto customary government a member of the biafran nation alliance or any other pro biafran group you can contact us on the on this platform our administrators around the globe us constantly come online to give out their number you can send us text messages on facebook you can visit our website and of course most of you have written to me and don't be afraid as far as it is the studio line as far as it is the number Coming from any of our platform, Biafra Nation Alliance, the de facto customary government, be free. Make sure you get those numbers from our platform. And so when I ask you certain questions, don't feel offended. Don't feel tri f uh, uh, f don't be frightened. Understand with me, you know how. We just want to be sure of who you are. And we also want you to be sure of who we are. Try and get involved. You are from Egala, Idoma, Iyala, any area of Biafra where you come from. I tell you, brother, go and join. Go and join. Go and join. The journey has just begun. I have a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes, I can hear you. you are welcome to the program. Good evening from Ma here. Ancient man. Welcome to the program. Mazoni, I greet you. I greet you from my side. Mazoni, Udo de Reggae, Udo de Reggae, Mazoni, Mazi, Jojo, Nibe, Udo de Reggae. There is this program you bring tonight. I, I love the program. Do you remember or do you remember to remember? I just want to say something. I love this teaching. When I remember, or when I remember that I saw the, 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 the crowdness, the crowdness of IPOB, that, that time, that, that time, 2013, when I saw, when I saw the huge people, the huge masses, I asked myself, who are those people? What are they planning? What are they uh, projecting? What is their plan? They say they are looking for freedom. Then I remembered what uh, our forefathers fight, Ojuku and Efion and other people, they, what they fight. Now I join. But now it's not what I'm seeing now. That is what happened 2013 now it's not what it's not the same thing that is happening now so things have changed things automatically things have changed automatically if somebody wake up today things is normal that person is a liar my say i remember that time I remember that time, but it's no longer before. It's no longer like before. Whoever that is killing 
in that land when i remember that Igbo, 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 ali Igbo, are we we the biafrans we don't we, we don't kill we the biafrans we don't kill we even to kill animal even to kill animal it's even to share blood of animal it's not in our dna whoever that is killing in this land we always people always say or people always say that this biafra is a holy land is a holy land is a holy land but why blood is pouring in that holy land even sometimes what bible said bible said David, but back and say david you are my son but your hand is full of blood so this blood that is pouring in that land whoever or whatever who who any person that is in hand in this blood there's a word you always said the world is watching but i said let me just say this thing i said myself maybe the world is not watching maybe people are not watching but i said the moon the ground the grass the air all this nature this nature anything contains nature is watching anything contains nature is watching for somebody to kill his own brother or to kill his own sister or to kill somebody because of one one thing or the other is not in our it's not in our dna whether you are governor whether you are minister whether you are anyone you call yourself for putting your hands on killing human being the nature is watching the nature is watching look at what is happening in ukraine even the the the, the, the president of ukraine is not crying that is the death is getting too much but now somebody will come and start killing people killing people unnecessarily but we are talking of we want to get ourselves we want to get our freedom we want to get our freedom but now people are just wake up and killing people anyhow Mazi, i just want to say something i was driving yesterday yesterday there is two bed two bed on the road on these two bed it's, it's like a, a a car or i don't know hit one hit one that one died instantly i am the one that coming close the other bed stands on the road is in the middle of the road the bed they couldn't even move because of what he saw that they have already killed one of his partner or one of his friend or brother or whatever the bed couldn't even move do you, do you see the power of life because that bed know that the other one is already died but he couldn't even leave that the other one alone to fly and go away he couldn't even leave that one he know that he have missed that one he have lost that one every car that is coming was dodging the 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 the, 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 the living one so what am i trying to say to kill somebody to kill somebody because somebody says something on the mouth or somebody didn't didn't join you where you are or didn't follow you or didn't follow you you kill that person the nature is watching i don't know for other people but for me blood sharing blood a human you can never take life which you didn't even create even taking the life of animal in this western world you can even the 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 the, the european they don't kill animal even where people see it if they want to kill cow the off camera and cut the cut the neck off but you are killing somebody killing a human being you didn't even give life you cannot even give life mas it's very very painful there is one word uh uh, uh asare dogobo used to say that word let me just say it on the air people take that word like a, it's a joke word it's a common word it's a play word people used to use the word to make play but i want to tell people that word for me 
You think say you dare wise? You think say you dare wise? Do you think you dare wise? That word can refer to me, can refer to you, can refer to everybody. You think say you dare wise? You are a woman. Go to Facebook, go to anywhere. People used to make use that word and make and make common make it common word. But for me, it's a very wise word. You think say you dare wise? Do you think you dare wise? Watch yourself. Watch your what what the way you're behaving how people are feeling about you killing is not good killing is not good Mazi, keep your good work almighty is your strength for me i don't support killing i don't know for other people i don't support killing whoever that is in hand whether i don't know who is killing i don't know who is killing but any person that is killing the jo the land will judge that person. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. The truth cannot be overemphasized. People don't remember what brought us here. That's right. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten where we are coming from. We have forgotten what placed us here. We have forgotten our destination. We have forgotten the reason why we more, we have to risk everything. But it's not too late. I only ask you, remember, be member. And if you are a member because you have remembered, you member of what? What member are you? Are you a member of NATO? Or a member of uh, 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 African Union? Are you a member of European Union? Which member are you? A member of Boko Haram? Which member are you? A member of a church? Are you a member of a family? What are the guiding principles behind all this? If you can remember, I tell you, you can recover. The lines are still open. But in the absence of that, I leave you with a parting word tonight. And it is as simple as you understanding. Understanding that somewhere along the line if we can remember the process if we can remember the formation if we can remember that situation and circumstance which has generated created this very problem we can get it right let the agitation begin let the consultation begin let the formation begin let the people remember begin to remember we will get home do not forget the lines are still open and if you have that privilege to call in to make your contribution please do but in the absence of that we may be shutting down in no time if you are in Biafra land or anywhere around the world, we encourage you to be a member. Look for a pro Biafra group. The one you believe in the ideology and be part of it. For some time now, we've been encouraging you to get your PVC. Please try and do that. Try and get your PVC. Because the journey has already begun. Why did you erase the bite of Biafra from the map of Nigeria? Nobody has a right to erase a name, bite of Biafra from the map. Put it back on the map. You have no right to put it back on the map. Country people. As we prepare for the 2023 general election for inside Biafra land, I won't make you no know, say, bite of Biafra, go return back to the world map. But how this one go take happen? It means say, you and I will go put hand together, make we go Colombia our voters card, also known as PVC, for effective and peaceful governance for inside Biafra. This means Biafra de facto customary governance. Of course, we are not asking you to vote for anybody. We are simply asking you to get ready. A lot of things need to be done 
A lot of policies have been formulated. A lot of strategies have been initiated. And of course, there are things that bombard at night. And there are men and women out there who are making sure they respond back adequately. I'll be back in a minute. Yes, of course, this is the time for Biafra to be restored. And of course, on this note, I will be signing off from here. The people of Biafra must pay attention to what is happening around you. Most especially those of you on Biafra land. Do not be quiet. When they threaten you, speak up. When you notice abnormalities happening around you, speak up. Most of you who know the truth already and revolt against the system externally or internally you are a target to be hunted if you hide they will strike you down alone and nobody will know you can report to the de facto government of biafra you can report to the biafra nation alliance and they will see you through there is a complete overhauling of the whole process and believe me we are going to fight to the end. I'm joined by one of us. Let's see if we can get him. Can you hear me? Brother Ogono, can you hear me? Good afternoon and good evening. I hope I'm coming out clear. Yes, you're coming out very clear. Udogo. Welcome to the program, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dear friends, hello, dear friends, good morning, good afternoon. This is a prophet burning fire. And uh, I want to inform you that we are here to tell you people the truth. Sometimes you people don't want to hear the truth because you people want to hear we are many people, we maybe 100, 300, 500 will be there lying for you and you believe in, believe in them. You can see what is going on in uh, autopilot and the DOS. Many people have left from DOS to autopilot. Now they are coming back to DO because we don't, we people don't have any plan. There's no plan. What is the next? What do you think that we are going to do next? The next thing is the Biafra uh, de facto government has made up a very good plan that we favor all our Biafran people. That's why we look finish the, in, the, the a professor is in this Biafra de Fado government, engineer is in this Biafra de Fado government, doctor is in this Biafra, everything you want. They are there. Powerful people, intellectual, people that have worked in the parliament everywhere, they are there in the Biafra de Fado government. And they use their wisdom, notice that all these things, killings cannot give us Biafra. Oh, we are going to kill them. If Jaffa didn't come, we are going to kill them. How? If he kill them, who will give you Jaffa? Look what is going on in Ukraine. Ukraine and um, in Russia. I think you see the war is still going on. And they be killing the, uh, the uh, Ukraine people, they be killing them and destroy everything. 
Nothing. They were just talking. The something went well. You say, whoa, whoa, whoa. You think that war is this chakapu? Use gun and they shoot and they learn. That is war. You see the, the Ukraine people, they're doing um, what they call it, um, uh, shoot and they hide. I forget how they put it. Go to this thing. I don't know how they put it. They shoot and they hide. Gorilla but warfare. when the Russia, uh, yeah, go warfare. When the Russian people use their uh, their jet, burning, destroy all the whole thing, all their resources, all their people, every house they live in. They are even all of them run to other ground. They still pieces to other ground. Capable, they all of them is running out. And they are doing gorilla warfare. They say, oh, let me go and do gorilla. We are going to kill them. That you know who we are. Who you? What you? Who, what? What do you have? How can you battle Nigeria? Can you battle Nigeria with uh, with mouth? Can you fight Nigeria with um, all this AK for seven? Go to the north. Go to the north. See what the north people is passing through. Half of what is going to the north happened to Biafra and we finish. Huh? If Nigeria want to remember all this, they say, oh, I'm in the bush, I'm this. Then we don't use jet and come to, come one jet, come to the up there and they bomb everybody there, they die. But because of the, um, why they are doing this, uh, they just use it for policy 2023. So that they will just keep you people uh, to be shouting and they're making noise and uh, so that they will check if they will use that opportunity to give governor all this and you people think ah, <laughs> we are going we are winning we are winning don't you see they are learning for us if we cut a uh, governor we are going to kill them which people do you think that they will just command the soldier they will come to the bush and kill him use air and bomb everybody but will die and you are saying you are doing this I, I don't know the type of human being we are i don't know i don't know why what yoruba people they have put for our food and we start doing behaving like uh, them in 1993 how they behaving before you know before we know you know baby pass people that um whenever they want to do something without shouting ah ah bow, my bow, ah oh mommy oh mommy my bow. then the evil man will say this thing is too much you will slap the yoruba man bam then your bow will run away quick 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 say ah oti 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 pam you oh i want to come and help me but you, the, that time, you know, people have done it 19, 19, 19. But even people start doing it now. <laughs> ah, we are going to kill you, you bomb everything. Don't you know? Instead of go the enemy, you are killing your fellow Igbo people. When you see somebody that say, oh, we don't believe all these things we are doing, let us do it. This. Oh, it's enemy. You go and kill them. And they will be happy. <laughs> I'm killing, I'm killing the enemies. How are you killing the enemies? Start, keep, keep on killing the the Igbo people in the, the powerful. See the doctor last year, uh, last year or this uh, year when the this uh, doctor for Anambra State, the doctor that is helping a lot of people, they go and kill this man, bomb his head. If half of the man, this man try to raise up hand, okay, now you already lost the doctor there, one of the powerful person that's supposed to even uh, uh, help in the time of trouble. Now you people already kill them kill the man and you still jumping <laughs> we are kidding why the house of people is vibrating and uh, happy for their land and you are killing yourself and uh, and you people will still say yes we are winning winning how how are you winning we, how are you winning the war how are you winning even the even the house of people they don't even listen to you because the people that we are kidding i hear one one house of man when i talk to the house of man uh, last uh, last uh, month, he tell me, see, why you people Biafra is doing like this? He tell me, you go and kill the people that are selling suya, and you think that you are killing the northern people. Eh? He said, if you want to kill, go go to the outside people and kill. Not people that are selling suya. You see people that are selling suya. All these people that are doing broke cosmetic. You say, oh, it's our people. Let's go and kill them. The northern people don't even value those people. They are like Almagri that they even kill them. They are causing problems for their land. And you people go and they don't even know that it exists. Don't try to kill any outside man or any flanny man, important person. You see what will happen. So what I'm trying to tell you people is, you people are killing the intellectual people in Ibo land, the powerful people in Ibo land, the claiming that you are getting Biafra. 
to tell you now it's too late because now president i don't even think that ibop will get that president because you people have destroyed opportunity we're supposed to have instead of to unite unite so that you, the house of people will be afraid of us hmm? the house of people will be afraid and say oh let us give this for the presidency but now they are not afraid See, a uh, you know, bad person, they say, Tunumbu, old man, 90 years or 102 years, who is uh, talking and the hand will be shaking. That is the person the uh, APC may choose now to come and replace them. And all of them, and uh, you will say, no, they are not going to vote because you have not collected your PVC. You say, no, I'm not going to vote for him. Uh, he said, Tunumbu, he cannot rule there. You will be talking like your bad people in 19 because your bad have changed. You will be talking, ha, ah, we are not going to do that. We are not going to vote for him. You have not get your PVC. First, maybe mistakenly they bring Igbo man for PDP, and you don't have your PVC. Yoruba man will vote for Tunumbu. Part of our man will vote for Tunumbu. Then uh, Igbo um, uh, East, we uh, maybe they are up to twenty million or thirty million that register. You go only twenty people. When they say don't go and vote, you just have only uh, one thousand people that collect their uh, that get their voting card. Then one thousand go and vote. Then. Uh, some of our other people will vote for us. Then the Uyaba man will win the win it because they have all the voting card. They reach millions, but you people have only one thousand. I tell them don't go and vote. Then the uh, the Tumbu, which you don't want to be uh, them to rule for you, they will still rule you, and you will still shout them. Biafra, Biafra, which Biafra are you talking? When you have opportunity, big opportunity now to unite our people. To make sure that this bad government will not come in again, and you're still talking about Biafra. First of all, if you want this Biafra, get it. see now. Soludo is in the governor of him, uh, Anambra State, which he is a very powerful man. I love the man. I, if we have another person again that is a lead Biafran person that can take over Imo, Imo State or Abia State, all these things, then it will be okay for us when we take over all those. Um, all those places. Uh -huh. Then uh, we will talk about how are we going to build the River Niger uh, uh, seaport in uh, Wari, Wari seaport. How are we going to build the uh, Potakor seaport? How are we going to do the River Niger seaport so that everything will be working? How are we going to make airport to be working again? How are we going to, when the Northern people talk, we say no, we unite as each other. But you see the governor of Ebony uh, uh, State, is in PDP. When the house man says, hey, come, come, we are going to give you presidency, come and enter APC. He look like a zombie. Go, 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 go. go and enter there. We stay to unite. You are you are Eastern Eastern Governor, Chairman of Eastern Governor Forum. We stay to unite them. Because of all these things say PDP. And you jump out boom, and they go and cause problem. Now they, are, they, they already see the Turumbu already see that you will be obstacle for him. They already put you for big problem now, and you are jumping up and down. Even though I hear that you go and visit him, visit him to <laughs> please. Uh, uh, my people is uh, against me because I enter the uh, Abga, uh, enter APC. Please, you, I don't want them to remove me, help me. Anything I will do for you, anything. Even though I will not allow any woman to to enter that. Um, to enter that a president in PDP. I will destroy them. I will do this. That is what you will do and defend Tunumbu now. Tunumbu is supposed to come and visit you people because you people unite. They, are not, they have not even come to East to visit you. You are the one that goes, what? abomination is happy. You hear an assassin. Shame. None of you about people visit you people to come and beg you. Say, see, we, we, we want you to come and vote for us. Or do we want you to be the uh, one, uh, please uh, vote for us? They don't. They don't care about Igbo people. But you, you particular this governor of Ibo said, long to them, begging them. Eh? Shame they catch me. People that we are, we 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 we're bigger than them for a long time. My brother, this uh, these people they are so I don't know what to call them. But uh, what I want to say, congratulations to congratulations to our governor. Of Anambra, new governor of Anambra State, and uh, this uh, um, Soludo, I'm so happy, and I'm so very, very happy that they let him to that. Uh, they let him today.
and uh, also i'm so happy what um, bianca did today too because um well i cannot say much let me leave other people to talk thank you may god bless you for uh, allowing us to speak they were thank you very much we are in this together evangelist burning fire thank you so much and of course it boils down to the same part remember or be a member you have a choice remember the process what brought us here remember about the formation remember there is a way to get out of this miserable situation there are a lot of complication if you think the trouble is over yet then you can't remember there will be turbulent moment we have not even been able to anticipate no message it will come but do you remember strategies of survival do you remember the need to collaborate do you remember the importance of consultation do you remember creating a platform that enables us to carry everybody along my brother remember and be a member on this note i sign out from here this evening tomorrow is another day who oh, the people of the afro nation alliance the watchmen they are watching over you we are advising you only if you will take it china samuru has published that uh, simeon Ekba sent some Biafrans to kill their ESM, that their ESM has finished killing Simeon Ekba Zumbi. Don't you understand? Who is killing who? Who is killing who? But they don't remember why we are here. I'm joined by our daddy in the Lord, as you bid you be new. Can you hear me, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, my reverend. Good evening, sir, from here. Yes, Welcome I can hear program. you, my reverend. Good afternoon from here, my brother. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I didn't follow up all this time, but uh, I said I'm not going to miss today's program. I want to thank you for what you're doing for Bria France. Um, your doggedness, everything that you're doing, God is witnessing all. Um just barely look at uh, your topic uh, which is uh, remembering the guiding initiative uh, to Biafra restoration and this is uh, where I'm going to uh, base my contribution I want to thank my brother who just finished speaking uh, Mazu Dogwin uh, for coming to join in this program wherever you are listening from i want to thank you this is your brother video bn video bn is from alba alba is in our nature province and this afternoon let me begin by congratulating the new governor of anambra state uh, professor saludo um I just want to say congratulations to him. But I can tell you that I am so fulfilled with his inauguration speech. Even if he didn't do nothing. Again, I'm so fulfilled with that, what he said today. And um, we must all work together to support his dreams. Everyone who listens to him, every reasonable human being. I'm not talking about this. A lot of uh, people who have sold their soul and they are walking dead. But every reasonable human being that listened to that young man today will know that he yielded from the bottom of his heart. And... Uh, from every evidence what he yielded today 
was nothing but good things. Very encouraging. Very encouraging. So we will continue to um, pray for him that God will hold him strong, that no distractors will be entertained. He made it very, very clear. And everything that he has said, I know he's going to follow to the So, our uh, uh, prayers in all this, or our role in all this, is to support, not just in prayers, but anything we can do to make sure that every of those things that you see today came to life. And I feel like I feel like I'm born again today because what <laughs> I mean, if we can, if we can inhibit any kind of distraction for this man to be able to do what he wants to do uh, for the Anambra State, I believe the entire Southeast will copy from him. But let me leave it like that. Um, it's only the God who will take control and uh, make sure that he selects good cabinets who will work with him to see that the meaning of livelihood returns, uh, um, meaning of humanity returns to the people of Anambra State. So uh, thank God for everything that went on today. Uh, but I do want to say, in line with what you brought up today about the guiding initiative to Delphi restoration, I'm not quite sure because I didn't follow you from the beginning. But um, thinking about the initiative, uh, we know that there is... Uh, what we have been saying over here, the international, or rather the, the dictates of the international community on how to uh, get a nation. It doesn't come from uh, threats. It doesn't come from violence. It doesn't come from intimidating other people. It doesn't come from lies and uh, unnecessary and false propagandas but it comes from effort people call yourself human we are made for human beings mm -hmm. the community is looking at you and you are behaving like a I say to you, uh, welcome to the this. I want to understand that public of Nigeria at this offline on have never been from a different country. If it went be for the amateurs who defend the community for, for the attractive resource country. And uh, since the creation of Nigeria, it has no known peace. I'm not sure what is going on with my li line. They're going right back. I was saying that this profound difference had given room for all manner of violence against the vulnerable groups, particularly the dear friends, who are predominantly Christians. And since the creation, dear friends have been under oppression in this system, wherein we suffered and continue to suffer untold atrocities, crimes from the hands of fellow citizens.
even as we speak today, we are suffering from the hands of the state. <laughs> Some of us who call themselves the Ephraim. Uh, but despite all these things, the Ephraim, we call ourselves Nigerians to the extent that no other group in that country ever did. Of course, this can be evidenced in by the Im impartial migration of Biafrans and settlement and development of other parts of Nigeria. Unfortunately, Biafran contribution, both in humans and material resources to the course of coalition, coalition, uh, peace and development and national <laughs> unity at ways that of any other group in Nigeria. We know that. Of course, this is really But we are not a liberalism and uh, dynamism have marked difference with the targeted and a conservation of the disparate combination who we have long time or lack potential to achieve the same standards of efficiency and prosperity. The consequences that we suffer we are unending envy, animosity, cruelty as manifested by periodic destruction of properties and decimation of innocent lives of the Africans intermittently. As we are witnessing today, we have uh, various groups talking that they are the Africans. Uh, they call some of them call themselves directorate of states. Some of them say they are autopilotters, and this group continue to violence in our land, and nobody is speaking. Because the so-called leaders, the so-called governors, the so-called legislators are not legislators. They are not governing, nothing. And again, I want to commend the Professor Saludo for already proffering a solution. For some of you who are still in the bush, you better, be, you better begin to hurry up to come out from that bush. Because it is not in as much as he came to work for the people of our number state and work for Biafra in general, we are not going to tolerate any distraction in that state. Uh, we're going to meet any of those distractions head on. And this is not boasting, it's not threatening, but it's a promise to all, all of you. And as the topic of today directs, we want to caution our people. If you don't know how things are done, go back, back and just, it's just a click away. You get this information that we need to have. on how this is going to be. The BFR and the Factory Customer Government have restored that they will engage fully in um, political participation in our land because last time we checked we are still in Nigeria. There's no need of all this mumbo jumbo. Hurting ourselves, denying Nigeria while we are still in Nigeria, and inciting violence, enabling the Nigerian terrorist government to continue to invade our land because of what is happening few people that uh, does not want progress. Few people that are very frustrated. They say they are looking for freedom. The evidence are bounced that they are not looking for freedom. They are just lying to the people. 
the modalities have been spelled out. As we talk about these things, we should not forget that we have uh, working bodies in Nigeria. Of course, we know that we have uh, been myself. They go about their business and do what they're supposed to do. By the way, Chief Rafa was was the one that resonated this issue of Biafra after several years of uh, Nigerian government trying to put uh, uh, the name Biafra in the dark. He did exactly what he is supposed to do. Know that there are limitations as far as people did not come out to support as appropriate. He, he became like he was doing it by himself. He's been pushing this for a while now, and he needs to, every Biafra needs to understand that Chief Rafa Wazrike cannot be taken away from this Biafra equation. Today we know that he's still doing what he's doing. Very organized with different that is wrong. But this group of people that call themselves autopiloters at the US and uh, the, the, the bingos on the kind of continue to rain insults on this man whom if it wasn't for him, then they can will not have any way to uh, pick out or same it's on record that Chifra Fuwazrike was the one who traveled to London and opened up Radio Biafra and put on the canal in place to broadcast Biafra. We have video, I mean, uh, video clips where in the canal was asking people to go and join, join any group just like what we're doing today. Join Benin. Join the Elders Council or any group so that we can all come together. Today, the same group of people are creating the mess. The same group of people are rising up with stolen guns, intimidating people, whining people, kidnapping people. In their little mind, they think that once they do these things, the other will come. We still feel very blessed that the terrorists of Nigeria has not unleashed a full scope of their terror. And so far, the people are devastated. People are completely devastated. So far, with few towns, they went up and set up blaze. That's just a little lesson taught you. So I urge every dear friend to refrain from this group of people that are still shouting here and there, collecting money. And we have a lot of dear friends in diaspora who are supporting disabled, even though they are not supporting it because they think that it's evil, they think that it's a way to go. But I can tell you guys that <laughs> it's not a way to go. We've been there, we've done that. The moment we disengage ourselves and rearrange ourselves, just like we've been calling on upon everybody here, yeah? if you want to join them myself, it's up to you. We have our father there, Chief okay? Still championing that group, we have the BNC which is being championed by the chairman of the Facto Customer Government. Senator Dakubo is doing good with uh, the Afro National Council. Uh, Council. We have the DNA that is headed by my reverend, who is hosting this video. There are resources out there for you to make your way into these different bodies. We will all come together at a point on that effort, the fact of customary government to continue 
to our freedom. Then we must do the right thing. The international community is watching. Even the Nigerian government is watching. They are enjoying the game and the fun that is the drama that is going on today. And this is the reason they are playing games with everybody. Think about what you are doing. Think about the economic impact on our people. The people you say you want to take freedom from are not suffering what our people are suffering today in the name of you. See that home that is not even, it doesn't make sense again. The fact you are using that opportunity to come out and kill you, market men and women. That is not the way to go. First of all, we must disengage from this evil that has ravaged our land. A lot of noble men and women have given their lives in the cause of this madness. And we need to stop. We need to stop. Make yourself available for a good service. All we are asking you is to Volunteer yourself. Come out wherever you're hiding. Call any of these resources. There are numbers you can call to be a part of what we're doing. The other project is a collective project because it's driven by a sense of unfair treatment and marginalization for all of us. That's what is driving the restoration, the freedom that we are all talking about. It's not about individual, and it cannot be based on an individual. And there's no way we can get to be a friend by presenting one person as your Messiah or your Savior. We need to come out wherever we are, make ourselves available, and walk towards restoring our, our nation we are all in different parts of the world we need to do what we have to do which may, may not be discussed over this earth but there are set plans to do these things you can only play when you are in the stadium you can only play when you are a registered team these are the key words so please my people it's high time if we really want to get home otherwise we'll be here in diaspora years are running by so fast before you know it you will be placed in a convalescent home we need to make haste while the sun shines but as you come please remember to come here with truthfulness and to come here with humility those are the two criteria god will consider to helping us out of this match i want to once again thank you my friend for this opportunity given me we are I love you here for what you're doing and continue to pray that god will find it himself to bless you and your family and to preserve you until Biafra comes and beyond. I want to finally say, all hell Biafra, and God bless the people of Biafra and all of us of freedom. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank, Thank you so much, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And of course, people like Mazi Ubidi Ubinu, other noble Biafrans who are standing by, you are simply the reason why we are here. Your present has been an inspiration to everything we do. And we remain grateful that in a darkest moment like this, there are still noble Biafrans who will at no point allow themselves to be compromised. We keep acknowledging all of you. We keep praying for all of you. We keep believing God that it shall be well with all of you a new generation and of course for our people who for some reason they are missing the track honestly we pray for you 
that we all come to our senses. We remember why we are here. That not just remembering, but we are very ready to move on. The restoration project must continue. Do not make any mistake about that. A lot of changes will take place. A lot of transformation will take place. Please do not be left out. Don't let anybody deceive you. Just look at what is happening. Remember both the good and bad. It will make you a genuine member. I can assure you. The lines are still open for those who can be able to assess this line to make their contribution. This is Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. And like I reminded you, like I told you earlier before now, do not allow anybody to beat you down into submission. Not from within our camp or the camp of the enemy. Do not allow anybody to deceive you or make you to forget, lose focus on the main reason why we are here. Don't give in to their threats. Do not give in to their harassment. Do not give in to their indictment. Do not give in to their deception. Do not give in to their criminality. We cannot forget who we are. This is the time to remember. And of course, we have in one or two network challenges. But then we continue to keep to push on. Keep pushing on until we get to our destination. Don't forget our lines are still open and you are free to call in. If we are able to realize ourselves, remember what needs to be done. And everyone comes on board. I tell you the miracle we dream of, it's just around us. And so every Biafra must be ready. Every Biafra must get on board. So the journey and this restoration project will be brought to a conclusive end. Stay standing by. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. 
schools at this moment. I'm joined by one of our administrators, of course, a very humble man, Maze Mbadike. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, uh, uh, good evening. Good evening, from uh, city of New York. Good evening, sir, from here, and welcome to the program. Yes, uh, yes, uh, my name is Izuchuku uh, Wakoli the BN administrator for Americans and um, we'll be playing the, the topic of the day and um, he says do you remember you know we do remember everything when IPOB used to be a powerful freedom fighter movement we used to know when IPOB, when they come out to do a protest, the whole world is taken. Now we do remember that IPOB is the people that are sponsoring ESN and the non-government that eat our Biafran people in the bush. And uh, what else can we, where can we count that we eat? Our people don't even know. We know that IPOB is the one that is you know, doing destruction where they're doing funeral and burials in Biafra land, mostly in the Igbo land. It's many of things that you can remember and you ask yourself, is it how we're going to get where we're going? But we thank God for you guys that are in the home affairs of our de facto government anywhere. And also, I do, I do mobilize Biafrans and the Americans for people who wanted to join this movement so that we can get where we're going and we thank Biafran de facto government for all the effort they're making because most of our people think that de facto government is like IPOB that come out on the air and give people false hope. And I also, I share committee on sports affairs of de facto government the fact of customary government for our tournament that should be co coming up soon in Africa. So you know, by, it's so many things that is going on with the fact of government and it's so many things we do remember about the agitation of Biafra, but nevertheless, we have to search on, you know, to make sure that what we are fighting for, we get it done and our people will have safety. They've been crying for for a long time. That's why I call up on this evening to tell our people to wake up and smell the coffee. You can listen to Biafran Human Rights Radio on different platforms. You have to try any area where you live in Biafra land, try and tune into 100.5. Sometimes you get the signal about 8, by 10, 11 p.m. at night. If you live within Newe on the axis, you try it. At 10, 11 p.m. at night, you might get the signal coming into your region. But very soon, this relay station will get every look and corner of Biafra land. Or you, if you have an Android phone, you can also download Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio app. You can go to Zeno app. You can go to Simple Radio app. All these signals comes over there. Or you can go to any of our platform based on Facebook on on email, on Google, you can still listen to this broadcast on these platforms, even on YouTube. So, do you have uh, <laughs> it's so many things to say, you know, but um, I'm not going to keep you rolling late this night. And uh, we'll come back again tomorrow to bring more information because our, our people is like little babies now. If you feed them too much information, they're not going to contain it. So, uh, we're just going to break it you know, piece by piece. Because I always come on the air, I told them, when somebody told you the lies the first time, told you the lies the second time, and you stay dancing around that person, it means something is strong somewhere. Biafra 2015, 2017, 2020, it never comes. And all these people are jumping all over the place, you know, autopilot, you do nation, Omar the highway, I'd say, hey, show the, and they have nothing to give for it. Our uh, people go wake up. Go All these people, you go to me, you go to my <laughs> Yeah, but we need to tell our people that no government of the world recognize Biafra since they start eating themselves. All the lobbies that are working for IPOB before all of them have run away. So anybody telling you that IPOB will get you Biafra, 
you better run. If you don't run, you dig in your grave. So that's why we set up this platform where the truth is being told. We are there as a parliament where people sit together and discuss things that need to be done in Biafra land. Not one person will be a goalkeeper and a striker and a batman and a left and right winger. We need to sit back and ask ourselves. What we are, doing, we are doing in Biafra land today, will it give us Biafra by destroying our properties, by making our people to stay home, not to go out to look for their daily meals? Those are the things that we, we need to ask ourselves. If it's fine, then you know we don't, Nigeria is not doing us any, any harm. That we're the one creating that harm to ourselves. I, I will just give our people this number. If you are within the Americans, you can reach us on 917-346. Five four one nine, or you can send the text message, WhatsApp message. If you don't want to speak to anybody, you can as well go to our website. You can go to biafranuov.org. You can go to biafranationalalliance.com. You can also email us at bia67foundation at gmail dot com or all biafrans at gmail dot com. Donation for our relay station that will be coming up in, in Biafra land. It can always go to BR67, BR67 Foundation at gmail.com. If you're an American, it's a taxable donation platform. I will say we go nowhere until we accomplish our mission. All help Biafra. Biafra will hear you. Thank you very much. And of course, like I said, that is the voice of our brother, Mazen Mbadiki, our overall administrator for the continent of America. These are men driven by conscience. These are men who understand, who remember the position we have found ourselves as a people. And believe me, they are not shying away from their responsibility. If anybody tell you this is a, a bad time story if anybody tells you this is just to boost somebody's ego if there is anything palatable we are enjoying here the person lie but you have to remember that all these things need to be done we remember that the restoration of biafra it is going to take all of us to save all of us and so what do we do we keep on pushing we keep on working very hard we keep on doing everything we know that is necessary. And so in the end, we will be able to go home. Do not be discouraged. Do not be distracted. Remain focused. Try as much as you can. Remember. Remember what brought us here. Remember the process that has manipulated and complicated our situation and circumstance. Remember the required and the necessary formation that we need to introduce in order to get everybody home. We cannot lose the, f the single fact. We cannot forget that as far as this restoration project is concerned, we are meant to take so many groups of people along who reason differently, who respond to issues in different manner, and provision must be made to look into everyone's line of thought. There must be need for revision. There must be need for consideration. There must be a platform for fairness. It is very important. And of course, as a result of this, it can bring so many setbacks. It can bring so much delay. It could even usher in confusion. But in the midst of all this, we must remain focused by remembering. And by remembering, you become a member. By becoming a member, it offers you the opportunity and the privilege to identify with the principle that govern such organization, such group, such people, 
and that is the only time you can be able to participate fully on the agenda a grand at, on the grand and then be able to play your own role defending Biafra on the last outpost. Don't make any mistake about that. Nobody can tell us otherwise. It is left for you to rise up and do the needful. The de facto government, like I have told you, they are working very hard. A lot of things are being done. It's not easy considering the time where we are. But I think it is better that we continue pushing until we all get it right. Once again, I lend my voice to every Biafrans across the world. Look for a pro Biafran group. Look for a pro Biafran group. The one most especially you identify, you are in agreement with the ideology. We encourage you, support them. We encourage you, accompany them on this quest. I love that statement each time. Matthew BD uses it. It is somewhere along the line. At a particular given point, we will all meet in a very unique junction. And then you will see, none of us has actually been useless in the end. And everything we have separately labored for, worked for, we can now bring them together, form an impenetrable unit, and then as a people, we'll give it the last push. Do not be left out. Do not be intimidated. Do not be humiliated. Because the truth cannot be overemphasized. I'm still standing by because our brother Amaz Mefo, our director, the man who assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption, is supposed to be on the line with us. But let me see if I can be able to get hold of him. We're still online here.
Yes, of course, at this moment I am joined by Mazeme 4 and sorry for taking your time. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you, dear Bonnie, very good evening from here. Good evening, sir. And good evening. My good evening, men and women of goodwill from around the world. Friends of Biafra and dedicated Biafrans. What is happening to us today is very clear. It is our own making. It is not the enemy's making. First of all, my name is Mr. Mefo. I'm calling from London. But... The thing is that the Biafra de facto customary government is a platform to go with as we speak. There are so many pro Biafra groups that have come out and made that initiative a possibility. Uh, Bim Masob is at the center of it, Biafra Nations Alliance, BNC, and uh, so many other pro Biafra groups. And of course, we will not fail to um, acknowledge the Central World uh, Chief Ralph for what we can explain. And of course, individuals and groups who are dedicated to making sure that there is a consensus of opinion on the way forward on the issue of restoration of Biafra. We must not pretend over what is happening to us or what is before us today. The issue of insecurity. The issue of insecurity has been, you know, criminalized to such an extent that it is now being attached to the issue of freedom. And by extension, that has also been the Biafra Restoration Project. The Biafra Restoration Project is dented beyond recognition. And we will not and should not make means of it or make light of it or make pretense about it. We have a lot of work to do the indigenous people of Biafra under Namrekan, Ipok, are at the center of the whole mess. Then other criminals, criminal-minded individuals who have been looking for what to do, have joined them. As we speak today, they are still issuing threats to individuals and groups, killing evil Biafrans in the name of Biafra. They are killing for Biafra. They are killing in the name of Biafra. That is an abomination to me. The worst aspect is that they are not using their weapons against the enemy. They are using their weapons against their own brothers. And there is this popular saying, that is still very fresh in our mind. That no Biafra should kill or spill the blood of another Biafra on Biafran soil. Maybe when we were making the statement, we were not conscious of it, but I know that it is the spirit of Biafra that was propelling the pro such pronouncements. Today, everything has been abandoned. The people killing our people, violating the rights of our people, impeding or infringing on the rights of movement, freedom of association, freedom of opinion, are not only the Nigerian state. They are also non-state actors and ESM, IPOB, under Nam De Kano, are contributing more than 80% of the carnage that we are experiencing today. 
Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because this is an obstacle to restoration of Biafra, and we have to deal with it. We have to call abomination by its name. There is also a popular saying that anything, anytime we kill, Biafra will not come. It is still resonating in our memory. Now they can say it. And today, who and who are destroying lives and property in Biafra land? They say it is Fulani Hexman. It is the Nigerian state. It is the governors. Yes, they may be to an extent responsible, but the inspiration came from Nandekam. And we shouldn't pretend about it. The worst aspect of it is that those Iraq minions and the criminally minded gangs in the DOS of IPONC are on daily basis issuing threats, directing violence against individuals and groups. And they will still be the same people that will turn around and deny that they are not responsible. They don't know what happened. Cannibalism and extra judicial murder targeted assassination of Biafrans, not the enemy, have been the other of the day. They will feel it, they will boast about it, they will glorify and gloat over it, and people are hearing them. And say, man, they, man, they. Abomination is what it is. Crime against humanity is what it is. And until we begin to stand in the gap and speak up and stand against this evil, it will go, it is go, it's going to affect everybody adversely. We have been shouting for quite some time. And nobody is listening. Today, almost all the institutions of governance are paralyzed. Community leaders are not speaking. Religious leaders are speaking with both sides of their mouth. I mentioned Reverend Father Ibomonso and the Reverend Father back the other day and people were shouting yes I have to call them because they are keeping a blind eye to the criminality there are two things here nobody can stop the agitation for restoration of Biafra because it is the right to self determination which is a human right in its own on its own Nobody can invalidate it, including what in man the can is saying about restoration of Biafra. Where the criminal minded approach is the one that we are saying no. Condition of violence on the already victimized people of Biafra is what we say no, no. Extrajudicial murder of our people is what we say no, no. Targeted assassination of our brothers, of our sisters in Biafra land, all in the name of freedom of Biafra is what we say no, no. These are all aspects of criminality that we are talking about. The Nigerian state cannot be killing, disappearing, murdering our people at will, and people who claim and profess that they are fighting for Biafra and that they are on course for the liberation of our land and that of our people. We now turn around and turn their weapons against the same people continue to victimize the already victimized people of Biafra. That is an abomination. The worst aspect of it is that those 
who knew who should know better and keep him quiet over the whole thing when you say something they say oh you will die you will do this let us die everybody will die at the end of the day it is either i die before you or you die before me all of them are the same and one thing so let no one threaten you with death if i die today you will die tomorrow but the most important thing no matter what is that what you die for is what matters because we are all going to pass through the same fullness through the same fire through the same channel of death when the time comes so our people must stop allowing the spirit of timidity to take over undue control of them. The society we see today was built by those who have come before us. They made a solid foundation for us. It is our responsibility, individually and collectively, to also provide a very solid foundation for posterity, for those who are coming afterwards. The enlisting, the conscription of minors into the criminal activities of ESN, IPO, beyond that land, the canal, you say, no, no. You may continue with your propaganda, with your lies, at some point, they will deny that, no, it is not them. At the other time, they will come up and say, oh, this child is a brave child and all that. He's fighting for his fatherland. We want to point you to the real thing and to the reality of the matter. Conscription of minors, child soldiers, we are not criminalized several decades before now, but now it is part of war crime. It is part of enslavement, a crime, a heinous crime, prohibited in international law and even in domestic law. Anybody embarking on that is a criminal because you are depriving the child of a valuable feature for him or for her. You are stopping the child from going to school. You are destroying the child psychologically, emotionally, physically, and otherwise. It is not anything for us to be proud of. So anybody deceiving you, anybody playing with words regarding the conscription of child soldier, or conscription of minors in and, 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 and indoctrinating them forcibly into violence is a criminal and should be seen as such. What is happening today with reference to that particular sad episode of our time is, so, is something that we have tapped on a long time. The proliferation of weapons in the hands of non-state actors, especially unregulated non-state actors, is going to pose a very uh, devastating, dangerous consequences, indeterminate one indeed for us. And today we are seeing it. The truth about it is that these people will group themselves into militia groups and turn our society into governing society. When we are saying all these things, some of them will say, oh, you are afraid, you are afraid of violence, you are afraid of fighting. Who is afraid of fighting? By the time I talk and talk and I see that you want to take my life out of me, I will defend myself. And by that time, we will now know where we are. It will affect everybody. It will affect myself. It will affect you. So those who are threatening you, 
they must also know that they don't have two lives. But it is also a responsibility on our side to make sure that we bequeath an egalitarian, peaceful, and viral, progressive society. It is a duty. It is a responsibility. That is what we should be focusing on. Biafra Restoration Project, like I said, has been dented beyond recognition that it is going to take a lot of effort for the abomination, for that dent to be undone. Biafra is going to come and every effort should be made to deliver a human right compliant Biafra, not Biafra of criminality. The Nigerian states, as we said, are killing our people. They are embarking on all manner of human rights violations. The people who are fighting for BFR restoration should not be doing the same thing that the Nigerian state is doing. That is the stage where we are today. That is why we are calling out on ESNIPOB. Because they got it wrong, they 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 they, they crossed the line and they lost the argument. Every effort, resources, finances, efforts have been made to support IPOB. Men and women of repute came out and supported IPOB to a hilt. Today, the opportunity IPOB has to restore Biafra has vanished in thin air. And it is a very sad episode. Unless we apply ourselves to the dictates of international law on statehood, self-determination, internal and external self-determination, we are going nowhere. Every effort has been made for Biafra to be, for the issue of Biafra to resonate around the world. It is embedded as we speak in the consciousness of humanity. Now is the time for us to do the needful. It is time for our people to collectively come out and mass and with a purpose to taking the political control of Biafra land. That is the only way the international community should be talking to us as in Yes, that should be network issue. I lost him somewhere, but then let me see how I can get him back. And of course, the people of Biafra must be a close attentive to what is going on. Yes, I have him back. You are back, sir. If you can hear me. Right. Thank you very much. I'm 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 almost uh, I'm I'm just summarizing. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, what I was saying was that time has come for everyone to join hands together, consensuously and sincerely, to make the effort a reality. The time has come to embrace the democratic process with a view for our people to take in over the political. Uh, space or control of Biafra land. Biafra land, I'm not talking about Nigerian politics. I'm talking about Biafra politics because that is the only 
process and avenue effective government. Without politics, there is no government. If you force anybody on a group of people, you become a rogue criminal enterprise. That is not what we are looking for. We want to play by the rules as much as we can. Our situation is a unique situation. We have fought war before. We have oil limits around. And we have people who are working across the purposes restoring Biafra. We should not allow and energize these anti-progressive forces to pull us down. That is why we are cautioning those who are embarking on violence, embarking on criminality, and hoping to use it to restore Biafra. It is not going to happen. Never. The Biafra we are going to restore should be better than Nigeria. If Nigeria is going to be better than Biafra, we are going to restore them. There is no need fighting for it. But we must do everything man possible to do the right thing. Thank you very much. Get one in God bless. Thank you very much. Uh, that is the voice of uh, Mazi Uchu Kafome. For it is as simple as short. We cannot allow the heart of this project to see corruption. One word that command so much. And of course, on this note, we will draw the curtain for this evening segment. We cannot allow ourselves to be deceived. Neither can we deceive ourselves. We have a mandate. A nation to restore and everybody must remember that this is the time for all hands to on decks my profound appreciation special thanks to all of you who were able to call in to making your contribution this evening our brother the ancient man and of course evangelist burning fire our brother mbadiki our daddy, Mazio Bidu Binu, and of course, I call him father, honestly, Mazio Choka for me for. And now, apology to those of you who I cannot receive their call now. Tomorrow is another day, we'll continue from where we stop. Good night, and God bless. Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy After this rain. Heavy rain. rain. Please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger. Siblings are more than all day long. We have been ruled by strangers.
Ndiyo chichi beni. I know you can feel the 